In this clip I'm going to be showing you how to use a Casio graphical calculator in order to find standard deviation in a, a typical statistics S1 exam question. So here we have a typical exam question. Uh, it concerns itself with the number of items going through a checkout. And so we've got the various values here and the number of times that they occurred. We need to find the mean and standard deviation of uh, the number of items that customers had. So in order to do that, if we didn't have a graphical calculator, we might be doing a rather long-winded method whereby we transpose a table, add two extra columns to it for fx and fx squared. We'd have to calculate these by typing them all into our calculator rapidly, one after the other. Uh, add them all up to find the totals and then substitute them into the formula. Now, there isn't anything particularly hard about doing that, it's just it's quite a long process and uh, there is a possibility to make a mistake somewhere along the line and therefore mess up your final answer. Uh, an alternative way would be to use your calculator to do it. Now, this is an A-level exam so I can't just type in all the numbers and write down the answer and expect to get all those five marks sitting there. I do need to show method in an A-level exam. So I want to show you firstly how to use the statistics uh, options in your calculator and also what you need to write down to get all five marks. Right, so over to here where I've got the calculator. I need to be in the right mode first of all, so I'm going to select uh, stats. So I need to press 2 in the main menu. That brings up this screen here which has got various uh, spaces for entering lists of values. Now I'm going to be using list 1 to hold my x values and I'm going to be using list 2 to hold my f values. Okay, so all I need to do now is to type those into the into the calculator. So at list 1 I'm going to put all my all, uh, x values, so 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. to go to the next column I'm going to type in all my frequencies so 2 7 9 11 2 and 5 now once I've got the data in I need to choose the right thing on the list of options here in order to find standard deviation now, there's actually quite a lot of things your calculator can do with these numbers now I'm going to be using the calc option here which is F2. Uh, when I press that it gives me an option to do calculations with one variable or with two variables. Two variable one would be for things like bivariate data if you're looking for linear regression which I'm going to show you in a different video clip. For now I'm going to be using one variable calculations. Now but before I do that I need to check that the calculator is set up correctly. So in the set area here I'm just going to double check that it's the calculator is looking at the list in the right way. Now I want to do one variable calculations with a frequency table so my x values are going to be in list 1 and my f values are going to be in list 2. Now that at the moment the calculator is set up for all the frequencies being 1 so it's set up for just a one list of data. So I need to change that so that it looks into list 2 and reads out the frequencies. So list 1 will be my x values and list 2 will be my frequencies. OK, that's done. So I can exit that. And then I'm going to select one variable calculations. Now, the calculator then churns out lots and lots of different calculations that it does. It does all sorts of things. Um, look down here, it's got quartiles and medians and modes, etc. But I'm not really interested in those in this particular question. I'm interested in these values at the top. Now, X bar is actually the mean, so that's the value I'm going to write down over there. Then I've got all my various totals down here and my values for standard deviation. Now I need to write those all down. Uh, the first value I'm going to write down is sigma f, my sum of my frequencies. Now on the graphical calculator, that's given by n, number of elements, so it's 36. So next to that, sigma f. I'm going to write down 36. Now sigma fx is given by and this one here, sigma x equals 235, so that's my value there. 235. Sigma fx squared is this one here, 1603. 1603. Uh, 
3. Now, I don't need to do any calculating for the mean, that's already given. 6.53 to 3 significant figures. So just write that one down. Now, I suppose I could just write down a standard deviation as well, but I want to show my methods and make sure I get all those five marks for this question. So I'm just going to sub the three values in from that I've already written down into the formula just to make sure I've got enough method to give me all the marks. So 1603 divided by sigma f, which is 36, 36 minus the square of the mean. 3 squared. Now, I don't need to type it into my calculator because it's already been done for me. Now, calculator actually generates two values of standard deviation. This is one for a population, this is one for a sample, but you don't really need to know much about what those are at the moment. At A level, we just use that top one. So, this is the one we want. 1.38 is the value I'm going to write down. it to three significant figures. And that's it. So I don't really have to do any complicated calculating. All I needed to do was be able to type this table into the calculator and be able to interpret this list of results that it gives me. And that's it.